In this video, we'll balance the equation for sodium carbonate plus copper sulfate, and that's going to give us the sodium sulfate and copper carbonate. This is a double displacement reaction. Note that you might see this a little bit differently, and that would look like this. However, this isn't the equation that we're going to balance in this video. So we're going to focus on this because this comes up quite often in general chemistry classes. Let's count the atoms up on each side, and we'll use a little trick since this is a double displacement reaction that'll make it a lot easier. We have two sodium atoms, and then the CO3, it's called the carbonate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. We have a carbonate here and a carbonate here. We just count it as one thing. Copper, we have one of those. And then SO4, that's the sulfate ion. We have one here. We have it again on this side, just count it as one thing. On the product side, we have two sodiums, one carbonate, one copper, and then one sulfate. So you can see by counting these polyatomic ions, it's just one thing if they appear on both sides. That's a very effective strategy when balancing double displacement reactions. And we can look at these numbers here and see they're the same. So this equation is already balanced. We could report the coefficients as one, 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 although we don't write those in the final equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Na2CO3 plus CuSO4. And thanks for watching.